Hello, seedlings of light. Welcome back to Black, Gray, and White. I'm Bailey. I'm Sandy. And today, it's my show. Um, so today we're going to talk about how I operate my small business using love and light. I own a wood fire pizza food trailer. And um, we travel all around the state of Nevada. And then we're looking into traveling around more of north of the United States in the next coming years. And I started this business in 2019. And we became fully operational in 2020 after the pandemic. We were after the, in August of 2020, I was able to open up my business and start operating. Um, So one thing that we've done through this entire process is my mom and I have been very much into energy work through this. So anytime I did licensing or anything like that, we would pray over the licensing to get the best results. And so a prayer would look like, um, do you just want to show them a prayer? We would pray over something like that. Maybe. Am I putting you on the spot? You are. You are. My, my I, thought you should, it. Well, I thought you should have a Jesus juice ready to go. Just pull it out. <laughs> That's right. Mm, pull it out. Just cover so, it. So um, it'd be something like. Uh, we just asked for the hand of God to come over. I think it was to come and protect and to get the best will through it. Make sure that we're following our path and to put love and light into everything that we do. Amen, amen, amen. Aham, brahamas me, aham, brahamas me, aham, brahamas me. So, and then I, I use aham, brahamas me at the end. That's Sanskrit for I am the universe and the universe is me. Um, that's my form of amen. And, um, and I use amen from the Bible. <laughs> Should we have a reference note? Like I know. Cliff notes at the bottom. The I use amen because. The Bible, and we say it three times because. Um, the, I say it for God. Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. So when I say amen, 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 I'm saying it for, to reference the three. And I just say aham brahamas me three times because she says amen three times. Because when you're in Rome, one Might must... Might as well just jump on it. And we don't know the Italian version of this. No, any any other ones, send them my way. So, so that's been one thing, starting the business. Starting your own business is very scary And what I have learned is that it is always going to be a roller coaster. You just have to choose to get off the ride. So it's either feast or famine. And I think it's that way in a lot of businesses where you're either doing really good or not so great. And when those not so great times come, it's very easy to spiral and to start thinking, um, to just start getting negative. You know, I'm a failure. This isn't going to work. I'm not doing the right things. I'm not enough. All of those things come to play. Um, especially when it is your livelihood. I My heart goes out to all the small businesses and the people who are starting a small business. It's it's a very difficult difficult thing to do. And I mean, even with us trying to start black, gray, and white doing our energy healing um, has is very difficult, very stressful. So my tips and tricks on how to keep, keep your mind going. Uh, number one thing that we do is we make sourdough, all fresh crust. And when we are making the crust and making the dough balls, we say affirmations, um, sending love and light. I do that for all my customers so that when the people eat my food, um, all the hands that have touched it from the time that it's gotten to my trailer are filling it with positivity and raising the vibration so that that goes on to my clientele. Um, we pray before we open the trailer so that I can give my customers um, abundance, health, wealth, happiness, and love so that I can provide that to everybody who comes to my trailer. Um, and then and then when we are slow, sometimes... <laughs> Sometimes you're just standing there with your teeth in your mouth hoping somebody comes and gets a a pizza. That's what you're doing is just waiting. And, um, you know, I have a mantra that says that I say I have I have a successful and abundant business. I own a successful and abundant business now. That's that's the part with affirmations is you own it. You own a successful business from the moment you start it. And you have to have that mindset. And you can't um, as hard as it is. You can't let yourself be a negative Nancy. You and, push through. and don't you feel um kind of side busting? No, you can jump in. But uh, that now is really important because when we're doing our intention setting, it's almost like due to whatever reason, fear, shame, guilt, worthiness. It, it's almost like you're putting the intention for your future, and you want it past, present, and future. So, so whatever it takes, and and when you have that vibration where. If you're living it, nobody's coming to the window. It's easy to get into some stinking thinking. It's very easy to get into stinking thinking. And, and even sometimes, you know, sometimes you have a bad day and you don't do well. And you may, and sometimes you'll lose. And uh, 
even then you still own a successful abundant business. Even at those moments, something is happening, whether you're learning or you're creating. Um, Bob and I did a really good thing the other, uh, the other day we, we sold, we didn't sell anything. You know what we did (laughs) is we created three new menu items and those sold like crazy the next week after that. So we were able to, instead of being like, oh, why isn't anybody wanting our pizza? We're failures. We're not doing any good. Instead, we took that time and we created something that everybody has been loving. And don't you feel that because of those prayers, that that vibration you're bringing, there's still success. Mm -hmm. So... so you ha- don't would you say that maybe there's some I say there's defining a for success ever, yeah defining yeah. success and with you using uh, because I come from the spiritual where it's God's plan where you're using the universe it's the universe is still using you mm-hmm. so you're still being used for the highest good and in love and light and and like I said so, so we anchor created, to that yeah and you anchor in and there is always a reason for everything so. When you're more open to being able to flow through those reasons, they're more apparent to you. So I, I swear. So we had, we had a, we had a terrible week. Um, wasn't good. We were way below our par level for hitting what we wanted to hit. Um, and we created this new item and we did double the amount of sales the next week because of those items. So there really is a reason for everything that happens, especially with you, when you align yourself with your truth and your highest and your highest path. I believe that, I believe that my business is my highest path along with Bob's highest path. And so we, we just keep continue on that. How would you say that you keep that vibration for your highest path when you're not, you said you have your mantra. So you just keep Mm -hmm. anchoring back to your Mm -hmm. mantra. Just keep anchoring back. And, um, I have great customers. I have people that even even on the days when I sell ten pizzas, I have somebody coming back telling me how great how great my food is, and that is because of the intentions I put in. The universe is really good about knowing when I'm weak, and they it usually sends something in to to beef me up a little bit. Aww. It sends in a nice compliment for me to to reaffirm that what I'm doing is correct, and that we're doing the right the right product at the right time, and. We don't know. We don't know what the right time is or when when anything is going to happen. So just trusting in that has really been has really been the biggest part that has helped my business um, because it is a, it is a lot of uncertainty and that's hard with anything. So finding something to ground into has been the most helpful. And now we will bring into so maintaining putting infusing positive energy into your product is one of my suggestions to keep your business in the highest power. Praying, setting an intention before you open, serve, whatever you're doing, create a product, helps you keep the right mindset through your business. It starts it on the right foot and it's easier to maintain a positive attitude. My affirmation that I have anytime I start to feel weak and I start to break and have self-doubt. And then protection. So protection is really important for anybody who's an empath, energy worker, whatever you do. Um, if, whether you go out in public or you stay in at home, when you are running your path, darkness doesn't necessarily like that. So it will come at you more. And with me working in the food industry, I see a lot of people and sometimes those people aren't the happiest people. And so how do I protect myself so they don't suck my energy or I don't get, or I don't allow myself to get drugged down into their vibration, right? So how do I stay higher up? So I have, I use, I use protective necklaces, um, necklaces, those are my talismans that keep me safe and that I find use the best ones. Um, I, my mom got these from an Etsy shop that we have tagged down below. She actually infuses them with protective, um, intentions. This one's a protection. This one was, um, what was the intention in this one? Do you protection. Know? Protection. This so one's a sleep and that one's This one's protection. sleep and this one's protection. Sleep and protection. So, um. This one comes out and it's uh, adjustable. Well, what is this called? This is the Moldahara. Um, so this is like prayer beads. So yeah. You breathe through malas. Malas. And so you breathe through each one. You take a deep breath into your affirmation. I own a successful oh, there, and abundant business. I own a successful and abundant business. And you take your deep breaths and you work your way through. And um, you can work your way all the way through or you can just say it until you're calm down, right? Whatever you have time for. Sometimes your business doesn't allow you to stop and get your head right, so you just got to go. And can I tell you another quick trip that I've been using is, what was your I am? 
What was your? I own a successful and abundant business. There's a little hair we're trying to get. Um, so you can go through and say that. The other thing I've been doing is I've been breathing in God's unconditional love or heaven, and so you could breathe in that. There's a there's a lot of different. These are really peaceful. Um, it's a really great talisman to remind you that you are safe, you are worthy, and you are walking your path. Um, and then it also protects you from anything that's going to take away from that. These do need to be clean, cleansed regularly. I have I have three different ones that I wear, and then I cleanse them on the days that I'm not working, whether in the sunlight, the moonlight, or um, energy. So these will get full of stuff, and I do recommend having one that does it. Uh, if you guys are interested, we are in the process of building our website and we have a couple of different bracelets and things like that that will be available for purchase that will be used for intentions of protection. I, I would say that if you're buying infused um, intention jewelry to know the source and the Etsy website we listed below is of a pure source because when uh, you get your heart pure heart because every vibration right goes into every item and so if you don't know what that person background is um, especially right itsy um, where I I know the practitioner the person that does these and um, it's for the highest good so she has she sets aside all the other vibrations when she mm -hmm. does this and so that, these are just what I do to keep to keep my head right when I'm running when I'm running the business. It's a it's a very starting your own business and doing your own thing, following your path wholeheartedly and unabashedly is a hard thing to do, regardless of what you're doing. So if you're doing that, my heart goes out to you. And if you're thinking of starting your own business and it's been on your heart to do so, I take I say that you take this as a message from your higher self that it's time to do that and it's time to jump in. You keep keep your mind right. I would definitely, I th don't you think though, if you, when you first started, because we weren't doing all these modalities, right? When I mean, you first started. We learned more modalities as we've gone, yeah. But would you say to meditate and prayer um, of that's your path before you did it, before you do your business? Would you say there's a starting to know that that's your path? I think that if you're a Christian, you should definitely pray before you do it and you can find your find your gift to God. I don't, I don't get my, my thoughts that way, but yes, I think that, I think that that's a great way for anybody. If you're feeling doubtful to have the answer come to you in prayer, uh, I'm very, <laughs> I'm very confident. So I know that when things come in my, come my way, that that's what I'm meant to do. And I don't, I don't have doubt and I haven't had to have an affirmation to know that that's what I'm meant to do and what I'm meant to be. But if, but if that is what you need, then yes, okay. pray. I think praying is, I think praying for anybody. I just want a modality for them to solidify that that is their path. Yeah. Does it feel right? Is it you? Is it something that you're passionate about that you wake up every day and you can do again? Um, we've been running this pizza business for two years now, two and a half years now, and um, operational for a year and a half. But uh, Bob eats a pizza every damn day. <laughs> <laughs> he is never tired of it and that's how I know that we did the right thing and uh, with the energy work uh, we we just got a, we just got a big client that just fell into our mama Sandy worked really hard and it fell into our laps and and it really shows that we're we're doing what we need to do to move that way um, you will get the signs you just have to be open to seeing them okay. and, and trust and if you don't feel like it's your path then it probably isn't if you're having that many doubts then probably for a reason yeah. But but it's you can you can infuse anything into your business um, with positive and changing that intention. Your customers don't know why they enjoy it so much, but they really enjoy it. I say I I know that the fact that I say sending love and light to all of my that I wish all of my customers abundance, love, health, wealth, and happiness when I make their dough balls up for their pizza. I do know I know that that makes them feel good whether they know it or not. Exactly. Yeah, no, I agree. So so for all the small business owners out there or just anybody, let me know your tips and tricks on how to stay positive and stay on your path. It's a it's a hard it's a hard thing to do. It takes a lot of cojones. But I believe <laughs> I believe in you. Hey, well in any, don't you think any time you're using your gifts. Your yes. gifts that um, there's the 
Right. And she and there's those hiccups. And it doesn't have to be your own business. I just have I have a lot of control over how my business is ran because it's mine. Um, and when you're working for somebody else, it's not quite the same. But you use the similar tricks in your in your work. Yep. When you have a problem, you have your affirmations that you say. You pray before your day. You yep. Right. You do this. You do the same things. Just on right. Once the energy gets to you, you can change it mm-hmm. in your lane. Yeah, and they say, what is karma? Karma is not the event that happened to you. It's how you react to the event. That's deep. (laughs) So how are you reacting? And that's what Bailey's given us all these great tips on how to react in a higher vibration and not let that. And I think you have, didn't you have an example? Oh, yeah, I did. So I did have an example. So I I have another food truck in the area that... um, doesn't necessarily play nice with others and there has been some stuff in the past that has been happening that I was a little bit ready to fight about just so I was just I went in with a little bit of resentment and anger that probably shouldn't have been there I say I say shouldn't have been there because it's still there let's just be very clear that I have not quite worked through this and that's okay um and then something happened and one of my one of my advertising posts got messed with and um I, I interpreted that she did that intentionally to me and I was mad guys. I was sweaty. I was like shaking, right? I was ready to fight. Um, turns out, nope, it was just a thing on the page that I was using that kicked it back automatically because I did it wrong. So thank God I took a minute and I calmed down before addressing it. And that's, as I've gotten older and I'm still as hot headed, I just take a minute to breathe about it a little bit more. And that's something that I've learned and just know that you will feel doubt, you will feel stress, you will f- you will question what you're going to do, and that's normal. Just how are you going to address it? Don't don't sit and stay in those types of places. Move forward and move out. Yeah, and I think it's it, it, you the uh, so powerful is breathing, right? Breathe in mm-hmm. and breathe out, and so using that uh, to the best of its ability. And just, you know, conviction. Yeah. It's, and it's not easy. There's hiccups, and we say that all the time. So anytime you're trying to change what the universe has already given you, it tells you that it's, it's not sure. You've always accepted that, that low vibration before, and so you just have to clarify. And re- work through your boundaries and, you know, keep, keep that positive mindset because it will work out. Everything will, will but work now there's smaller goes. hiccups where before, right? So your example is where it could have gotten right snowballed, where I could have gone over there and yelled at her and then really put my foot in my mouth is what I could have done, is for sure. But right, the, you, but you didn't. You you learn you learn your things and and you learn um, you learn to trust. I would say I would say blindly trusting is the hardest thing to do, and that's what you kind of learn learn to do. Yeah. So. And in other words, adulting. That's, you know, <laughs> Not a fan. I didn't sign up for this. So, But it can be easier, and I think it's a less painful way. So, no, I think it's great. So, yeah, well, thank you so much for... Yeah, cooking with love. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Let me know how you put... How do you keep positive in your line of work? Scroll down. Leave us a comment. All right, guys. Send in low light. Bye.